Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about sum of an array elements using MASM611, which is a simulation software for 8086. In previous videos, we have seen how to perform arithmetic operations using MASM611 and lab kit with the help of 8086. So in the starting point, so the sum of array of elements. So we have to prepare our data segment first. So unlike in previous experiment, there is no preparation of data segment needed because we are not going to uh, specify something in the sequence of memory locations. So we have given directly the data inside uh, your registers. Here we have to specify the data segment. So I have to specify the data segment as, as the same as my code segment. So it is going to get the name of data segment and after that the data ends. So in that, I am trying to declare an array of uh, five values, individual values in sequence. So I am also specifying this is going to be data byte, which means it is going to handle 8-bit operations or 8-bit values. So if it is going to be data word DW, it is going to handle 16-bit uh, elements or 16-bit data. So here I have created an array with the name array itself. And after that, I have used uh, DB, which is going to specify that this array is going to handle the data of 8-bit data. So after that, the array ends. I have to end that data segment. And next, we have to move into code segment. So as a, as usual, uh, as like previous experiment, we have to prepare our code segment. It starts with the name code segment. After that, assume CS is equal to code. Here we have data segment also. So we have to specify DS is to data which is going to be your uh, uh, representation of your data segment. So after that, you have to start that uh, coding. So here, first you have to specify your uh, inside your code segment. So the length of the uh, array which you are going to use is going to be uh, five. So that it can able to take the five values inside. So I have to specify it before so that I will be using it inside my program. So after that, I have to move the value from data segment to code segment for its operation. So these two are going to be your default codes in any of many of your programs where you are going to use your data segment. So in this, while using data, so this represents data segment. So data segment address will be moved to AX and that AX values which you are going to have will be moved inside our DS, DS register. So I can able to have, while we are seeing the simulation, we can able to visualize how these things are going to work. So after this one, uh, so since I have made the value of AX it has been changed, so I have to reset my AX so that I have to uh, use this command move AX comma 000H. So which is going to uh, reset the values of AX so that all the values of zeros will be placed inside your AX register. So next, so we have to uh, have the starting point of your array so that we can able to move the value of SI with 0001. So that I have to specify the elements is going to start from one and after that I can able to increment one by one till it reaches five. So till it reaches CX. So like this I can able to increment it and I can able to see it how it is going to work. So SI is going to specify the it is going to be source index register. In this register, I am going to put the starting point address, which is going to be located in 0001, which means like the element which is going to start will be from 0001. So after this one, we can able to move to this uh, core part of your programming. So here uh, I have to specify add al comma array of si, which means I am having an array. So in that array, I am having the values of 01, which is going to take the position of 0001, right? So in the data segment, so 0001 is going to be taken with the value of 01. So I will put that value inside my uh, SI. So that specific element will be called. So that in first stage, 01 will be called. And after that, previously I have made AX register to 0, right? So that after uh, pushing my AL, so I am adding this uh, array of SI, which is going to be the first element to this AL. And after that, uh, I have to increment SI, which means I have to move to the next specific point of my array. So this is going to increment my SI register so that this command is going to use it for incrementing my SI, SI register. 
So SA register is updated, it is getting incremented and after that I have to repeat the loop till the final element is getting uh, inside my uh, code segment from the data segment. So previously uh, I have mentioned like uh, CX register is 0005. So when I am going to uh, repeat the experiment which is going to be uh, incrementing the values one by one. So this loop will repeat again and again till your CX register is going to become 00. So this loop is going to operate it so that this loop is going to just put this repeat values so that this loop is going to decrement your CX register so that it is going to start from 05 and it reaches till 00 it will going to uh, keep on repeat the loop. So this is going to be my uh, command and this RPT is just an uh, address values which I have to give. So this repeat is going to be uh, specified here so that the loop will be repeating again and again and the value of CX will be automatically decremented from 05 to 00 and after that it will end this loop and it will come out of that loop. Till that point of time your SI register will keep on increment itself. So after that I can able to uh, end the code segment and after that I have to end the chart also. So with this uh, we can able to uh, have an addition of array with MASM 8611 uh, for your 8086 simulation. So only three lines is going to be your uh, critical points. So you are going to add AL register and uh, in the value of array element by element I am going to call it and I am going to add with AL. Finally, I have to check my AL whether everything is getting added inside my AL or not. So for that I have to increment my SI. So this loop command, it will try to uh, decrement my CX for every uh, iteration and it will move to the specified location. So I have specified my location here and I have used the same location here also so that it will jump again and again here for every iteration till your CX becomes 0, 0. When it becomes 0, 0, it will jump out of the loop and it will come to the halt. So this is the programming logic for uh, addition of array elements with MASM611. So we can able to directly move inside our programming. So this is going to be my uh, code which is going to be used. So here I can able to see the same codes which I have given in PPT. So I can able to zoom it for your understanding. Yeah. So inside my data segment. I am using DB which specified like it is going to be byte which can able to handle 8 bit of uh, address or 8 bit locations or 8 bit uh, values inside every location. So that I am going to get the values of 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 02, 0, 02 and 0, 03. And after that I have to start with my code segment and all the things has to be uh, calculated one by one. So here this is the uh, repeating loop which is going to handle the operation. So this is how uh, I am going to uh, save the experiment with the name uh, experiment number 2, save as experiment number 2 dot ASM. So I can able to save it. We have to give mount C, C hash, slash, M, maximum 611. So the C drive is mounted and after that we have to give Right. So after that we have to give you a CD bin so that bin folder will be located. So after locating the bin folder we have to uh, go to our uh, code. So uh, we have to execute our code. We have to give it as masm x size number 2 dot asm. So it got assembled and after that we have to link our file link x size number 2 dot obj. So after that I have to enter four times. After that it should be debug size number two dot exe. So now you have to press your U so that we can able to see the program. So the program starts from uh, this way. So CX is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0005. That is our uh, first uh, code of my code segment. So only it is going to code the code segment uh, program. 
So after that, I can able to press C every time so that I can able to uh, check for the execution of each and every uh, instruction. So if I'm going to press C, first it is going to put the uh, value of 0005 inside my TS. So I can able to see that. And after that, I can able to see the value of uh, data segment in my AX 0764. So the next the value of 0764 will be moved inside your data segment. Yeah, 0764 has been moved inside my data segment. It has been moved. So after that, I can able to press again C and I can able to check AX is going to be 0000. I can able to see this execution. And SI will be 0001. So I have to start the execution from the second point of my array. So SI is going to get the value of 0001. After that, it's going to press C and I can able to see the AX got the value of 02, which is going to be located on the second position. So after that one, uh, if you are going to see it, so the value of uh, SI will be incremented so that the value of SI should be 0002 in the next line. So I can able to check it. So here the value of SI should be 02. So I can able to press my key and I can able to check. Yeah, SI value has been increased. You can able to easily see that, right? So after that, I can able to press C and I can able to see uh, that is going to be the loop repeat. So the loop is going to repeat. So after that, if I'm going to press C, I can able to see that 0 to has been added with my AX, which means my AL. So after that, I can able to press C again and again, and I can able to check SI will be incremented and after that it will be added to AX. So like this, yeah, till 0, 0, 0, 0009, I can able to execute the course and I can able to see. So SI value got the value of 0004 and the CX value got the value of 0002. So like this, I can able to uh, press it and I can able to check how far it can able to change its value. So now I should not check for uh, value till CX becoming zero. So because uh, I have started SI from uh, 0001, right? So the value of CX should be 0004. So I can able to stop with this one so that the addition has been completed. In the same way, if I want to perform the val uh, operation of division, uh, this CX value has to be divided with my AX and I can able to store it in the specific register and I can able to take it back. Like that, I can able to do it and I can able to perform my division operations and sum of elements in an array. Yeah. Thank you everyone.